Hi, I'm Dr. Rob Cushman, the Medical Officer of Health for the Renfrew County and District Health Unit. I have a special message today, but before I start, I have great news. First of all, there are very few cases in Renfrew County. We haven't seen so little activity in a long, long time. Secondly, our vaccination rate is very high. It's pushing 80%, and the second doses are going to catch up very quickly within the next week or so. However, I want to talk to you today about a big challenge. We've seen what's happening worldwide. We've seen what this Delta variant can do, and there could be other variants coming. And what happens is they get a foothold in the unvaccinated population. And we see that these variants are more transmissible, they're more virulent, uh, more hospitalizations and deaths in the unvaccinated people. The vaccinated people do very well. So what I wanna to talk to you about today is the 20% of folks who haven't been vaccinated. When you really think about it, when you add to that 20%, another 10% or so of those who are under the age of 10 and cannot be vaccinated, you get roughly a third of the population, some over 30,000 people in Renfrew County. And this is a big pocket, a big pool for activity of this wily virus. So we need to shut it down as best we can. Now, when we look at our data, we see that those between the age of 19 and 40 are lagging in their vaccination rates. They're now a little above 50%, but they're well behind 80%. And um, what we've seen from these variants is they can make, they're more transmissible. Once they get into a house, they pretty much affect, infect everybody under the roof, and they can be more virulent, more trips to hospital, more severe illness. So young people thought they were immune. They thought it was only old people that got this. Well, guess what? That's not true. It's not the picture we're seeing. In fact, it's those who are vaccinated who are protected and those who are not vaccinated who are unprotected. And um, when you really think about it, we one of the problems with this group is access. We know you're busy with jobs. You have young children. You're juggling your work and your family. So we want to open these clinics now to walk-ins, our mass clinics for walk-ins in the next two weeks to encourage you to get your first dose. Equally, we will be coming out with pop-up clinics in small neighborhoods close to where you live, the paramedics and the public health nurses. And on top of that, family physicians and also the pharmacists are active. So I encourage you to do your best to roll up your sleeve and get vaccinated. This is really important because we just cannot have 30 some thousand people in Renfrew County that aren't vaccinated. Hopefully in due time, we'll be able to vaccinate children in primary schools. That'll help. But in the meantime, we have to increase our vaccination rate. And when you really think about it, you're the ones between the ages of 19 and 40 who are gonna pay the price because if the, vi if the virus gets into your household, it's gonna pretty much infect everybody under one roof and you're gonna lose a lot of time from work and there may be some serious sickness. So I'm encouraging everybody to take time to get vaccinated. I would ask employers to reach out to their staff so that uh, they have the time to get vaccinated. Some people are worried they may have a reaction. These are strong vaccines. They may lose a day or two, but let me tell you, that's a lot better than losing two to three weeks with a household lockdown or going to hospital. And on the other side, uh, we're seeing now that travel is going to be restricted. You can't go to the United States and cross back over if you haven't had two vaccines. And surely we're going to see more of this activity, restrictions on those who aren't vaccinated in workplaces, your favorite restaurant, for example, and in schools. So really, um, we need you to get vaccinated and you need to get vaccinated too to protect yourselves, your family, your loved ones, and to... Uh, you know, we're easing up on lockdowns and you want more freedom and this is the way to do it. So again, um, I know some people are just, you know, it's an access issue. I know some people it's a hesitancy issue. Uh, we've got, we've vaccinated over a billion people now worldwide and it's the only way to keep COVID at bay. So I encourage you to think seriously about this and find the time to take advantage of the clinic that's closest to you. Thank you.